We're here with uh, Kevin Kingping Johnson. Uh, first of all, Kevin, there was uh, two fighters you fought in the two two fight <laughs> two fighters you fought in the past. Uh, Tyson Fury and Derek Chisora. What did you make of their fight on the weekend? I mean, it was what it was. I mean, Fury came in and you know boxed the way he went. Excuse me, Fury Chisora didn't offer up a threat. You think? You think he offered up a threat? You know, he offered up a little bit of a threat, but. You know, he didn't threaten them heavy, so Fury knew within the first two, three rounds that it was going to be easy. He did what he wanted to and then seized when the moment was in for him to go in for the execution. And you've been in there against uh, one of the Klitschko brothers, uh, Tyson Fury now gets to fight one of the Klitschkos. Do you think Tyson has the capabilities to beat uh, not yet. Klitschko? Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. It's just something is not there yet. Something is just not there yet. Um, I mean, if he fight Latimer... Due to his experience, he can't do what he's doing against Latimer. So, I, truthfully, I can't say because every fighter prepares in training camp totally different. I mean, if he switch up his whole training style and the way he's delivering punches and stuff, I mean, Peter is a very good trainer he has, and they're, they're known for switching it over. So, I really can't say he's not ready. It just depends on what he go in there and do. You cannot make a stake against a, a sniper like Latimer. He's a sniper. And it'll be... And, and, and um, Tyson has been down before, so... You can't make a mistake. And, of course, you see the guy is getting better and better as far as we're training with Jonathan Banks. You know, weight, better movement now, uh, more artistic now, doing things he didn't even do in his first 10 years of boxing. So this is the guy that Fury got, can't make those small mistakes with because they capitalize on mistakes. And uh, your next opponent, Anthony Joshua, what have you made of his uh, first year as a professional? I think he's an Olympic gold winner, and I want to destroy that. I want to keep my uh, record of destroying Olympians alive because there's some more to come in a couple more years. And you mentioned in the press conference there's one thing that Olympians have that you know that, and that's why you could beat them. What is that one thing that Olympians have? That I can't say because I don't want them to fix it. I want it to be just as is. I've been, I've been training for years and fighting for years, and it's just one thing that every Olympian failed to fix. And it's all been proven. Look at my, you can check my track record. It's been proven. So I just hope we don't fix it so I can knock him out. And then after the fight, I'll tell him. And you mentioned uh, knock him out. You uh, offered uh, a little bit of a, a bet there, a little bit of a 50, wager. 50 to 70% of my fight purse. If he knocks me out, I'll donate, what do you think, 50 or 70? Uh, 70. 70? I'll donate 70%. This comes from the kid, not from me. I'll donate 70% to a charity if he knocks me out of his picking. And when I knock him out, he donates 70 towards mine. I mean, what, what have you made of Anthony Joshua? So have you seen Anthony, uh, many of his fights? And what have you made of him uh, I mean, today? Very good. I mean, I can't take nothing from him but the fact that I, I just know I, I want to destroy him. That's it. Can't take nothing from him. Can't say nothing bad. I mean, to tell you the truth, I think him and Deontay Wilder are the same two people. That's it. And in terms of, uh, you said you're going to knock him out. Can you give a round? No, I can't because... Um, there's a lot of strategic method that has to be laid out within the first round or two. There's a lot. There's a lot. So, and I, I'm not a guy that look for it, but I know the moment when it's there. And I, this I will capitalize on. I will not let go past me. Not just because of my British fans. I, I, I love them here. And I, I've disappointed them on two occasions. I will not do it a third. What difference do you see between Anthony Joshua and the two other Brits you fought in the past, Derek Chisora and Tyson Fury? Oh, the biggest difference is I didn't have a trainer then. I got trainers now. I've been training for four months already. I haven't had a trainer in two years. That's the only difference. I got back what I once had before, trainers. And in terms of after this fight, what can we expect from Kevin Johnson after um, you've knocked out Anthony Joshua? I'll give him 90 to 120 days for a rematch. And if he wants the rematch, I'll give it to him because I like his team. I like him as a person. Can't take nothing from him. I will give him that to come back for a rematch. And um, if no rematches in the, I want to see what else Eddie has in turn because I'm, look, I'm looking to move over here. I'm actually going to move over to uh, Europe. So I'm looking to do is I'm, my new base is going to be here. I don't have nothing really to look for back in America anymore. So I'll be fighting here a lot more. So hopefully me and Eddie can line everything back up and get back to a, a um, Tyson Fury fight. Oh, well, that's great. Well, hopefully we get to see much more of you when you're over here. Oh, very much, very much. Thank you for your time and uh, hopefully see you soon. Thank you.